There are several methods to plan out a building. One of the easiest and most accurate methods is to use guidelines to plan out your building, even before placing the first wall. These can be used for marking out external and internal room measurements, for ac accurately inserting other elements into your plan or even pegging out your building plot. When you click on the guidelines tool in the vertical toolbar on the left, a number of guideline options become available in the catalogue window, but the ones you're likely to use the most are the single guidelines, multiple guidelines and guidelines at set distance. From the catalogue, first select the guideline option parallel to reference line. This guideline allows you to offset a guideline at a set distance from reference line or point. Left click on the left boundary to set reference point. By default it should snap to line but if not you will need to turn on the relevant snapping through the options menu. Once you have left clicked and set the reference point, the tool option, options dialog box will appear. Enter the offset distance, for example 2 meters, and click the OK button. Ensure that meters has been set as the unit of measurement in the project, menus, project properties menu. Move the mouse pointer either side of the original point to where you want the guideline placed. This will be highlighted in green and then left click to place the guideline in position. The guideline will position itself to the exact distance you specified in the tool options dialog box, for example 2 meters. Repeat this again but this time use the vertical guideline as reference point and set a distance of 10 meters and place guideline in position to the right of the guideline. The space between these two guidelines will be 10 metres. From the catalogue, now select the guideline option Polygon. This allows you to draw continuous guidelines. Left click on the first guideline and then draw the guide out to the right in a straight line. At this stage do not use the left click function. Using your keyboard type in 15. The distance field in the num numeric input section at bottom of the screen will highlight. Press the return key to set this guideline at a distance of 15 meters. Using the same numeric input method type 5 meters and press the tab key. The angle field will highlight. Enter minus 90 degrees and press the return key. Now type 5 in distance field, press the tab key and enter 180 degrees, followed by return key. Now type, type 5 in distance field, press the tab key and enter minus 90 degrees, followed by return key. Now type 10 in distance field, press the tab key and enter 180 degrees, followed by return key. You will now be back to the first vertical guideline you placed at the start. To complete this guideline input, press the Escape key. The guideline tools will still be available in the catalogue. Press Escape key again to activate the selection tool if required. If you do make a mistake at any point when inserting guidelines and wish to start again, click the right mouse button and select Cancel function. On completion, your guideline display should look like the example on screen. Before placing guidelines, you can also predefine the colour and style of them. This is useful if you want to use guidelines for different parts of your drawing. For example, guidelines for the building plot or garden area can be in a different colour to the outside or inside walls, making it easier to identify. Click on the guideline tool in the vertical toolbar on the left and select the parallel to reference line option. On selection, click the line tab in the top horizontal bar. This will open a dialog box where you can change the line properties, for example style, thickness and colour. Click the colour button followed by colour selector and select a shade of green from the wheel, wheel and slider. Close the dialog boxes. We will now place a few guidelines to form a path at an offset distance of 1.3 meters. Left click the vertical guideline on the right and enter 1.3 meters in the tool options dialog box and place in position. Repeat steps on the other guidelines so that your guideline display looks like the example on screen.
If you want to modify the properties of a guideline that has already been placed on the worksheet, use the Selection tool, left-click Guideline and select the Line tab in the horizontal bar at the top. Alternatively, right-click Guideline to open the Context menu and select Line. 